I've taken social distancing to a new level. It's about peace of mind, tranquility, wisdom, discernment. I'll show you how to do it. You can take it or leave it. Your call. For two months, a two month time frame, that doesn't consist of all the preliminary work on water regime, food regime for ducks. Two months, this is standard equipment. Uh, duck season. Some of the greatest people on planet Earth are people who hunt ducks. I love them all. When you pick up a weapon, you see if there's a shell in it. This is empty. That's the first thing you do when you pick up a weapon of any kind. Go look and see if there's one in the barrel. Make sure there's not. Y'all know about these. We talked about them. All of it's in the bag. I, I don't like a junky truck. See, a lot of people, they're too junky. I got enough rope to go from here to the river. Just in case. You say, what's that? Flex cord. Tie something on, keeps a bind on it. Everybody's got to have flex cord. Gotta have it. I keep it year round, year in, year out. Flex cord, watch. Gotta have it. Hot coffee around the clock. Complete with string. I wonder why he would say that. You may be 15 feet up in a duck blind. The dog runs by. This holds it from going that way. Dry rags. It's rainy, you're back under the roof, keeping your weapon dry. Gotta have it. Extra pair of shades. Gun chokes. Full choke, tighter pattern on your shotgun. Improved cylinder, wider pattern. You're shooting teal, fall of the year, September, early fall, different chokes. Screw them in the end of your barrel. That says full, shooting a full choke. That goes in your weapon. I buy this by the case. That's stout. They have numbers on it. This is number 60. Big string. Tying limbs out of your way. Making a roof out there. Cut out little saplings. Tie them together. Tying your coffee bottle up. Tying anything up. I had a guy one time, he told me, he said, the greatest lesson I ever learned from you, Robertson, roaming in the woods, is always have string with you, always. Never leave home without a crescent wrench. Outboard motors, mud motors, this, that, and the other, vehicle, battery cables. These two always go with me. You wouldn't believe how much you have to use this when you're dealing with equipment. You want to get there, and you want to get back from there. Always have a few tools. That's in the tool line. These knives, got little pliers on them. They got all kind of stuff. 
There's your knife. Have one of these with you. Have that with you. Have that with you. Uh-oh. Too many limbs. Woo! Will it ever saw? Sawing brush. They get a load of brush in 10 minutes. Got it on the top, strapped down with the flex cord. Got plenty of brush. You hide. You disappear. One little saw. I'm a white boy. Ducks will see me. My face is shining in the brush. Remember, it's the art of hiding. Sometimes you just need to be able to hide where no one can see you. It's a skill. It pays off. Whether it's men or birds, know how to get hidden. Do you realize how handy that is? Hose clamp, it's gone on the outboard. What are we gonna do? Cut that off, it broke. Trim it up a little bit, take that hose clamp, stick it back on there, get you. Tighten that clamp up. What if you didn't have one of them? What are you gonna do with your teeth? Tools, saw, ammo, fire. String, time, chokes, extra shades. Sun came out, duck calls, gotta have them. Dry rags, hot coffee around the clock. Checking it out. Pretty good waiting. I'd stay there a week. I'd stay there a month. Sometimes I got sardines in there, but most of the time we stash a little grub. We have a grub man. Burl, you handle the grub, son. Keep us in grub. Uh, honey buns, keep us supply them. Sardines, make sure you got some. One of the finer things in life is a honey bun. Don't eat too many of them. You better get too big. You can't see where you're peeing. As long as your belly is not blocking off where you're peeing, good to go. Get you out to here, can't see where you're peeing. Have a salad. <laughs>